So, hey there guys, how are you all doing? Welcome to episode number two of, I still don't know what I'm going to call this, but while you're seeing the background, it's pretty much me going through some SBCs of the leagues and nations basics, and then the hybrid leagues and hybrid nations. I think I'm still missing a couple of the hybrid leagues SBC, but um, basically I had recorded this in like real time, but the web app was super slow, and also I think it was very repetitive, so I'm just doing like a post commentary. That way I can also talk about some stuff and you'll be able to see in the background all the SPCs I do, the players I used and the packs. But my goal right now pretty much is to do all these SPCs and then all the players that I get, I either like I'm going to use them into another SBC or I'm going to sell them. So even like I know all, this, all these players are going to rise in price, but even if they rise in price, like I'd rather me choose which players I want to buy to invest than the game choosing for me. Uh, by here I pack Pele in a pack, that was funny, um, rather than, you know, the game choosing the players I invest, I can sell everything, and I can buy back whatever I really want to invest in, and, like, most of the players that I sell, I sell, like, if it's a non-rare gold, I'll sell him for, like, 350 or 400, and, like, the players that I'm using in the SBC, I'm paying, like, minimum bid pretty much on all of them, except uh, a few exceptions here and there. So even if, let's say, I get the exact same amount of players back from the SBC as the amount I put in, I'm like spending a little bit less on the players that I'm, that I'm buying as opposed to the ones I'm selling. But like, as you'll see at the end of this video, just doing these SBCs, I think is the quickest way to get started. I recommend you guys doing that. It's just a lot easier to do than, than to like sit in the market and trade, trade, trade. Um, so what you'll see uh, from me in this series, you'll see that I, I'm not actually doing things the way I used to do, which is we're like trading a lot and flipping a lot of cards very quickly. That's mainly just because the market has changed a lot. There's a lot more players and there's a lot more people sniping, a lot more bots. So I find that like you can still get deals, but like the amount of time you have to put in is definitely really large. And my goal like through these videos is not going to be to show you guys every single thing that I do. It's just going to be like to give you an idea of the things that I'm doing, try to keep you guys updated what's going on, and then like basically like I'm not gonna play, I'm just gonna play FIFA the way I normally play, buying selling players, trying different teams, playing the game, and then I'm basically gonna take you guys along for the ride and see, um, give you guys some tips along the way and things like that. And my goal with this video is just to show you guys like there's a lot of things that you don't need to do to like have quote unquote success in this game to be able to like have a good amount of coins and be able to build the teams that you want like you don't need to spend any money you don't need to spend like a ton of time playing especially like weekend league you don't need to play every single weekend league although like now that they change the format with 30 games and also you get weekly rewards it might be worth it if you get like a free weekend or something to play every now and again I'm gonna see if I can do it occasionally I'm definitely not gonna do it every week but every every now and then maybe if there's like even a, a really good team of the week maybe we can do that so yeah you don't need to spend money you don't need to play like every weekend league you actually don't need to spend a ton of time trading like the past few years i've ended the game with about 10 million coins and i spend maybe one to three hours a week so it's really just about being smart with, with your time and just making the most uh, of your time and also another thing you don't need you don't need to get super lucky in packs um like you don't need to pack like a super crazy player in order to get set you don't need to like rely on luck you can just if you do some things consistently you know you buy players at good prices and you sell them at good prices like you'll start building up coins and if you don't like expect to get rich by opening packs you'll like learn how to do it like manually and that's really gonna be the easiest way to have a nice club so yeah and then going about these SBCs um, as you, see, as you see, mostly I'm using players in my club that I packs from other packs, or I'm just going to the market and buying for like, you know, if it's silver, I'll try to buy it for like 150, and if it's gold, I'll try to buy it for this card as well. Um, you can like definitely look at like footbin or foothead or whatever to see some solutions, but like, please don't copy them because all the players in those solutions get inflated, and there's like, it's totally pointless to copy because you're just going to be paying so much more. Just, you know, you can use any players you want. It's basically what's important is just the links. So, and like, what I usually try to start with, I just start with some players that I have in my club, maybe some untradeables, and then I just figure out how to build a team around that. It's also a good, I don't know, I think it's a fun challenge to be able to try to figure it out as well. 
And as far as I'm, what I'm getting from these packs, you see I just got this 83 Viviano, which was pretty decent. And like, that's like, I'm not getting any crazy pulls by any stretch of the imagination, but like every every little thing adds up. And usually pretty much all of these SPCs are guaranteed to make a profit. Um, I'm just selling everything. This pack here that I'm opening right now is also a pretty good one. You see you got an 83 Undone and also 82 Jelson Martins. So yeah, all these players, they add up. You can sell them, it gives them an SBC. I think that's the easiest way, or maybe not, yeah, I would say the easiest way. Maybe, like, if you really want to make a ton of coins, you can, like, sit on the market and trade a lot. But this is, like, the most chill way to make coins. And that's that's my goal, like I mentioned before, is, like, how to find the ways to make the most amount of coins and build your club with the least amount of effort. Um, yeah, and I think right now at the start is doing these SBCs and I'm trying to sell like literally everything and then before the game comes out on uh, next Tuesday the 25th for people that have the the ultimate edition, I'm gonna be like buying a team. Yeah, so I definitely wanna, like I said, I wanna buy a team before um, the game actually comes out because then I think people are gonna start building up their coins through opening packs and then the all the prices are gonna start going up for the next probably like the next month or so things are going go, going to be going up so I want to try to get as many coins as possible from you know these SBCs and maybe I can trade a little bit um, so that before next Tuesday I can buy a squad so what are my goals for this first squad uh, this may sound counterintuitive but what I recommend you guys doing is try to build the most unoriginal team you can. Basically, like just try to predict a squad that you think everyone else is gonna have. So try to build the most meta squad possible, because what's gonna happen is people are gonna get the game and they're gonna build that exact same squad that you built, and that's gonna push the, the player prices even more. So I think that's a good way to like optimize the amount of profit you can get. You build yourself a good team, and you're gonna be looking at like staying with that team for probably about a month, maybe three weeks, uh, with this unoriginal team, as you wish. And then, like, they're gonna keep rising, rising, you're gonna make a good profit on them. Um, probably, like, maybe two to three X you should be able to get per player. And the other thing is definitely the Team of the Week 1 informs. So if you can, definitely pick those up. Uh, I'm gonna be looking at those that are going for, like, 10K, you know, the 82, 83, 84 informs, even, like, Summer, the 84. Um, I'd rather pick like two or three of those rather than pick one that's going for like 30k. I think that's going to be a better uh, investment. So yeah, if you can, definitely take a look at those. So that's my goal until Tuesday to try to uh, finish some SBCs. Like I said, I know if I'm going to do all of them, I'm still going to see uh, the prices and everything and pick up some of these investments in the squad. And then I'm going to be getting the game on uh, Friday. I'm only going to get the game on Friday and probably I won't be able to play too much over the weekend, but... Uh, on the you know following week I'll definitely be able to play some more and I'll pull like some coin boosts and I'll start playing that's gonna be a good help to you know keep building the club um, so yeah I guess that's it uh, thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time and bye bye